King News, my wonderful people. It's happening. Nandi Kanu's case to be heard in British High Courts on Tuesday as Nigerian government continue to play pranks and tricks and do not want to allow Unandi Kanu to go. The British government are finally coming, you know, into the game. You know, for a long time, one would have thought that they should have done this. This is the first thing they should have done right before now. Do you know that Unandi Kanu was, will I say, kidnapped with his British passport? Yes. He left England with his British passport to uh, uh, Kenya. Okay, so he was not on, you know, on Nigerians' uh, passport before what happened happened to him. So one would not be expecting any of such. We one would think that the British government will go after, you know, him and ensure that, you know, things, you know, ensure that, um, ensure that, you know, he's taken care of. However, this is not the case. This is not what has happened. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. As the British government come on Unandi Kanu's case. Breaking news, Unandi Kanu's case to be heard in British High Court on Tuesday. The full hearing in the Judiciary Review challenging challenges against the Foreign Secretary brought in on, before, on behalf of separationist leader Nandi Kanu will take place on Tuesday, November the 15th, 2022. Politics Nigeria reports that Kanu, a British Nigerian and the, lead, and the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, the group that Nigerian government has called a phony name. Yes, yeah, good. I like it that way. Phony name. And <clears throat> who wants a sovereign nation from the Nigerian Southeast region for a so for a sovereign nation, the leader's case will be heard in the British High Court. The challenge brought by Kanu's family related to the former Foreign S Secretary Lee's trust on willingness to to reach a decisive view of the fifty five years old was a victim of extrajudicial redition and other human rights abuse by the Nigerian government, an approach still maintained by her successor, James. Despite administration by the Nigerian government itself, demanding findings by the United Nations UN Human Rights Council Working Group on arbitrary detention and Nigerian Court of Appeal. It remains the UK government's position that it simply cannot decide how Kanu was brought to Nigeria of June 2021. What happened to him route and to him on his route and whether he had been or whether he has been detained arbitrarily and if so, what action has the US government has the UK government taken? highlights the importance of the case in the preliminary ruling justice ritchie said the right to life of a british subject is at the central of his of his judiciary review in which allegations of unlawful rendition and torture are made against the nigerian government which allegations at the court of appeal level are separately being upheld by the Nigerian courts. In absence of Tuesday here in Kingsley, Kanu, who was who has brought the challenge on behalf of the brother, said, I am very pleased that my brother's plight will be heard in the High Court tomorrow and that a British judge will consider whether the foreign secretary has acted lawfully to take the to take in refusal to reach the firm view on his extradition rendition. The Nigerian court has shown that they uphold the rule of law and willing to hold the Nigerian government accountable on this regards. I believe the British government must act equally and adequately, even the, even the seriousness of the violation of the human rights British citizens abroad are considered and, cons and looked at. 
we are watching carefully to see how these things will play out, he has said. Kanu's family said on Monday, it is important to understand the position of successive foreign secretary on this case. They have become mute in a cultural in the cultural context of the face of overwhelming of serious human rights abuse rather than responding in a principal and diversive way and fulfilling the most basic foundation of a state which is to promote its own citizens and protect its own citizens from harm Kano's family is responsible for john hilford and orders which the Nigerian government has brought on them. So this is what is happening right now. This is what is going on. Uh, my wonderful people, it is high time we begin to look at things more critically because the British government is finally coming into the matter and they were going to be seeing what will be happening in the next couple of days. Okay, as a matter of fact, this is a call for serious attention and every one of us, okay, must ensure that um, we are rising up to the occasion and we are doing everything, humanly speaking, possible to ensure that Nigerian government, you know, are brought to justice, you know, are brought to book on account of some of the, you know, evil they have perpetrated for a long time. People who need not to have suffered have suffered needlessly because we have a government who do not mind, okay? you know who do not who do not mind who who will rather lie on in the face of all that is going on okay so this is what is going on right now this is what is happening and why every one of us must be must be very careful because the days upon us right now are days where you know truth must be manifested nigerian government must be brought to justice on account of onandi kano okay we, they must be they must get you must get, you know, uh, they, must, they must release on Andy Kano. What has he done? What's his offense? Rather than say, we don't want to be, we don't want to be neglected in, in, a, in a nation. If you feel we are part of it, then let us be part of it indeed. We really want to be part of it. We don't want to be, you know, we don't want to be, uh, you know, second class citizen in a nation that's supposed to be for every one of us. So that's the, that's the problem. That's the, that's on Andy Kano's, uh, you know, main problem that's what he has done and that's why you know they are seriously on him anyway my wonderful people you can see for yourself that you know it's about time we begin to rise up and do not allow selfish individuals to take over a nation that belongs to every one of us bye for now